In this lecture, we will look at number of ways to express a number as a product of two factors. For example, let's take number 90. Okay, 90 can be expressed as a product of two factors like 1 into 90, 2 into 45, 3 into 30, then uh, 5 into 18, 6 into 15, right? 9 into 10. So, these are the ways 90 can be expressed as a product of two factors. Right? How many factors does 90 have? 90 can be factorized as 2 into 3 square into 5. So, it has got total number of factors as 2 into 3 into 2 which is equal to 12. So, 90 has got 12 factors, right? So, these 12 factors can be written as factor pairs, okay? So, how many pairs will be there? 6 such pairs are possible. So, 90 can be expressed as a product of 2 factors in 6 ways. Okay, now the next question can be, and what is 6? It is total number of factors, total factors divided by 2. Okay, let's see another question. Let's calculate it for 140. Okay, then we will see what difference is there in case of perfect square numbers. So, let's consider 140 first. What is the prime factorization of 140? It is 2 raised to power 2 into 7 into 5. Right? This is the prime factorization of 140. So, how many factors will 140 have? Total factors of 140 are 3 into 2 into 2 which is equal to 12. So, 140 also can be expressed as product of factors in 6 ways, which is 12 by 2. Let's look at the number 100 now. 100 is a perfect square. So, and 100, how many factors has 100 got? 2 square into 5 square is the prime factorization. So, total number of factors of 100 are 9. Right, there are 9 factors of 100. So, if you want to express 100 as product of 2 factors, it can be done in 1 into 100, 2 into 50, 4 into 25, 5 into 20, then uh, 10 into 10. So, these are the ways product of factors of 100 can be written. Right now, you see these are five ways right but there are only four ways in which distinct factors are there distinct factors are getting multiplied right so in case of perfect squares in case of perfect squares we will get n minus 1 by 2 such pairs if we consider distinct factors only right for distinct factors. and we will have n plus 1 by 2 ways of writing as a product of factors if we can consider same factors also if we do not consider distinct factors like this if we consider 10 into 10 in this so it will make it total number of ways as equal to 5 right now if i ask you a slightly different question let's take 140 once again 
वॉट वॉज दी प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ वन फोर्टी टू स्क्वायर इंटू फाइव इंटू सेवन राइट सो इफ आई आस्क यू टू एक्सप्रेस वन फोर्टी एज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू फैक्टर्स एज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू फैक्टर्स बट दीज बोथ दीज फैक्टर शुड बी इवन दिस फैक्टर शुड बी इवन एंड दिस फैक्टर ऑल्सो शुड बी नाउ वॉट यू कैन डू इज लेट से दिस फैक्टर इज टू एम ओके एंड लेट एस से दिस फैक्टर इज टू एन इट इज इक्वल टू वन फोर्टी सो एम इन टू एन विल बी इक्वल टू वन फोर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई फोर विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री थर्टी फाइव राइट सो नाउ थर्टी फाइव हैज टू बी एक्सप्रेस एज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू फैक्टर्स राइट एंड थर्टी फाइव हाउ मेनी फैक्टर्स डज थर्टी फाइव हैव फाइव इंटू सेवन सो इट हैज गॉट टू इंटू टू फोर फैक्टर्स राइट सो देर आर टू वेज टू एक्सप्रेस थर्टी फाइव एज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इट्स फैक्टर्स सो देर आर इफेक्टिवली टू वेज इन विच यू कैन एक्सप्रेस वन फोर्टी एज प्रोडक्ट इवन फैक्टर्स राइट वट आई डिड वॉज आई कंसिडर दिस एज टू एम दिस एज टू एन राइट आई डिवाइडेड द नंबर वन फोर्टी बाई फोर ओके आई गोट थर्टी फाइव हेयर नाउ आई जस्ट हैव टू थर्ट आई जस्ट हैव टू एक्सप्रेस थर्टी फाइव एज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू फैक्टर्स ओके नाउ दीज कैन बी एक्सप्रेस इन फोर बाय टू टू वेज सो दिस इज योर आंसर ओके now if i ask you to express the number in terms of product of its two of its factors but these two factors should be co prime to each other co prime to each other right how do we find number of ways to express a number in the product of two factors but these two factors should be co prime to each other let's take the example of uh, let's take any general example first let's say the number is p1 raised to power a1 into p2 raised to power a2 into p3 raised to power a3 let's say three distinct prime factors are there raised to exponents a1 a2 and a3 so i want these two factors to be co prime to each other right and this product should be equal to the number let's say this is the number okay so this product should be equal to this number and these two factors should co prime to each other so how many number of ways are there let's say if i put p1 raised to power x at this place okay and if x is lesser than a1 right so p1 raised to a1 minus x part will come here okay but these factors will not be co prime then right because these will have p1 common in both so if i need to put p1 raised to power something here at the first place i'll have to put the entire p1 raised to power a1 here okay and then i can put full p2 raised to power a2 and p3 raised to power a3 here right so let us consider these as three candies okay candies i cannot break these candies because then these factors will not remain co prime and i have to distribute these three candies between these two let's say kids okay let's uh, let i pick this first candy first okay how many ways can i distribute this candy in two ways i can give it to this guy or this guy right so the first candy can be distributed in two ways okay similarly second one can be distributed in two ways and third also can be distributed in two ways so there are eight ways of distributing these three numbers in these places one of these can be like this p1 raised to power a1 p2 raised to power a2 here and then p3 raised to power a3 here right other one can be p3 raised to power a3 p1 raised to power a1 here 
and p2 raised to power yeah and so on there can be eight such ways but in these eight ways i have calculated a into b and b into a also right so i have counted it double depending on the order okay i have considered the order also while calculating this so i have to divide it by 2 right so total number of ways will be 8 by 2 4 right so if number of prime factors are 3 So, total number of ways will be four, right? You can write it in general form also. Total number of ways will be two raised to power k minus one, where k is the number of primes, right? Let me generalize it for you. If n is equal to p one power a one, p two raised to power a two, p three raised to power a three, p k raised to power a k. so how many primes are there how many primes are there k primes are there right k prime factors are there now i have to fill these two places and these two should be co prime to each other so i can pick this and distribute it in two ways similarly this in two ways 2 into 2 into 2 k times will give me 2 raised to power k now just to uh, just to depermute it i have considered the ordered here right a into b and b into a so i have counted it double right so i need to adjust i need to depermute it i need to cancel this arrangement thing so i have to divide it by 2 so there can be 2 raised to power k minus 1 ways of writing it as a factor of as a product of two co primes okay let's take this question number of ways in which you can write 1500 as product of its two co prime factors right i have i have to write 1500 as product of two factors and these two factors should be co prime to each other so first of all let's prime factorize 1500 it will give me 3 into 5 square from here 5 from here 5 cubed and 2 squared right 1500 can be prime factorized like this so there are total of Three prime factors, two, three, and five. So, in how many ways can fifteen hundred be written as product of two factors which are co-prime? Two raised to power two raised to power three minus one ways equal to four. Okay. So, fifteen hundred can be written in four ways as a product of its two co-prime factors. All right.